Hi everyone and welcome back to a new episode of Testing Ethical Basics. So today we're going to be doing summer dresses and I want to present you guys a few dresses that I've been trying and just give you my honest feedback and thoughts. If you're new to this channel, my name is Chloe and I'm doing a series about testing ethical basics from sustainable brands. None of these videos from this series are being sponsored. Some items were gifted to me and there will be some affiliate links and codes to certain brands so that you'll get a discount if you want to order anything. But um, yeah, other than that, these videos are not sponsored and all of my thoughts and our opinions are my own. The first dress that I want to share with you guys is a very simple and casual dress. It's this midi dress. Um, it arrives about below the knee. Um, it's a dress from a brand called Davinius. I've shared about Davinius in the past, um, last year in some lookbooks and also this year in the white t-shirt series. So yeah, I have a few basics from them. They and I've been trying these pieces for more than a year. This is just a very simple black midi dress with straps. You can uh, layer it with putting a t-shirt underneath or a really nice shirt. Um, so it's quite versatile. It retails for around 70 euros. It's made in Canada. The dress is 70% tensile, which is a material made from wood pulp. It's very sustainable and the other 30% are made of 100% GOT certified organic cotton. I have this dress in a size S and it just suits me perfectly. They don't have all the sizes, I think, so maybe I would have gone for an excess if they had the option, but I really like how comfy and still good looking it is. Um, it's a very soft material, but yet like I can just throw it on and put a really nice pair of shoe and it will just be perfect. Yeah, I would say like it's a great basic piece. It's not a very chic um, an, or elegant piece um, if you know you have to go some, to some events or you like things that are a little bit more tailored or with um, more luxurious um, fabrics this is not the dress I would recommend but as like an everyday throw on summer dress um, this one I really love and they have a few other colors also available on the website and in terms of durability well it's a it's a soft and stretchy fabric so obviously it will move more than like a harsh fabric or like a stronger fabric like let's say um, linen um, but I would say that like for what it is it really holds on very well um, the fact that it's tensile usually makes clothing a little bit shiny it doesn't for this one and it's something I appreciate because I don't really like the way tensile shines sometimes. I've been wearing it a lot, like as much as I don't think it's the most pretty dress I have in my whole wardrobe, I still really love it. And that's one of the one that I get the most use out of. The next dress that I want to share with you guys is a maxi dress. Um, a few of these, there will be like some midi dress, some maxi dresses, so yeah. Um, I'm, I'm trying to share a range of different things here. It's this, um, I can't show it all so you'll see it me when I try it on, but um, it's a beautiful, beautiful white linen maxi dress from a brand called Marutska. I haven't shared about this brand yet and I'm really excited too because they do really beautiful, they're very specialized in linen and they do really beautiful um, clothing and linen. So if you love linen, um, definitely check them out because they have a few different things and it's all linen. Um, this dress particularly retails for 115 euros. So I think it's quite reasonable for the fact that it's a maxi dress and also just the cut of it is just very nice. I couldn't find where it was made. So it says that they produce and make their things in their own studio. I just messaged the brand to ask them more information about where they were located. So if I get a reply by the time I upload this video, I'll uh, put it in the little text. Um, but yeah, I really love this dress. I think it's just very pretty, a very great piece to go to the beach, um, but also to go out. And then they ha there is this, um, belt that goes along with it so you can tie it around the waist there's many ways you can 
uh, wear this dress and I really like it. So yeah, definitely like this one a lot. I have it in a size S and it's just a good size for me um they don't have any smaller so i always usually pick the smallest size and in terms of durability i haven't worn this one as much as the divinius one for example but um i think that linen from my personal experience just holds on very well the only like kind of downside to linen is the fact that you have to iron your clothes after washing them because they will look very wrinkly otherwise um, so that's the only thing that I a little bit dislike about linen uh, but other than that I think it's just it's a, one of my favorite fabrics of all time um, and it's just super breathable and comfortable to wear especially during the warmer month so there is two dresses which I will show you trying on again because you can't really see but there is this strappy with a low back dress um which is also a midi dress goes uh, uh, below the knee and there is this dress which is more of a mini dress um this is above the knee it's not super short but it is definitely shorter than the other one these two dresses are from a brand called Miriam and uh, you can find it online and on Instagram so these dresses are no longer on sale because they were from the 2019 collection however I just checked their website and they do have some similar styles also in terms of the color it's a lot of whites and beige so if you're into that style definitely go check it out um, I don't remember how much these retailed for but right now the dresses they have on the website do retail between 115 and 220 euros so they're definitely a little bit more expensive but the finishings are really nice everything is handmade in germany so i think that's really great and obviously when you have things made in germany like northern europe it's going to be more expensive than if they're made in turkey or portugal because uh, the wages are higher in um, northern europe these dresses are linen and i really like them again like the other one um, I, I really love linen. I think it's a beautiful material. The only thing is that you'll have to iron it for it to look really nice But it's a very durable material and it's a natural fiber. So yeah, I really like it a lot These dresses are in the size SM with Miriam. They have a not many many sizes They usually have two sizes a smaller one and a bigger one. I always pick the smaller one and they usually fit for a few different sizes, which is something that you'll find a lot from ethical and sustainable brands. And the reason why they do that is that so they don't have leftover sizes that no one bought. So yeah, it's a bit more complicated when you're very skinny or if you're plus size because they might not have a size that suits you um, perfectly. But I would say like just for the majority of the people, it does fit. Also, for example, this one has adjustable straps, so yeah, you can always adjust it to however um, tight or long you want it, which I think is really nice. And it's a very small company, so I'm always happy to work with small companies. So yeah, I have these in the size SM, which is the smallest size, and in terms of durability, they hold on very well because they're linen. The next dress that I'm going to show you today is this maxi dress which has this very beautiful shiny ish material um this is a dress from a brand called tayo it's everything is made in the us and they use dead stock fabric so this one is a hundred percent sand washed silk um, i typically don't buy or um, wear silk especially from like uh, new um garments but when it's dead stock i am fine with wearing silk dead stock means that um it's fabric that was ordered by other brands and they didn't use it so it ends up in the warehouse and basically what happens is that either someone buys it and does something out of it either it's it will be thrown away or burnt or whatever um so i think dead stock is a great alternative as well i do wear um, secondhand or vintage silk as well as dead stock silk but not newly made silk because um, silk is actually not vegan because we need worms to make silk so this dress retails for 170 euros it's very 
beautifully made and, and, and sewn. So it's a very simple dress. You can also wear a shirt or a t-shirt underneath um, to style it or just wear it on its own. It's a beautiful color on the website. I'm not sure this color is available anymore, but I, they have like a more of a, a blue gray color, which is gorgeous as well. I have this one in a size S and it does fit great. It is not too long on me um, and I'm only 164 centimeters. Yeah, I think it would look, have a different length if you're taller than me um, and it will look very pretty as well. And in terms of durability, the fabric is a really high quality and it looks very chic and elegant. I don't wear this on a day-to-day -day basis. I also really like to put a belt at the waist to cinch it in. So yeah, there, it's, it's a very simple dress, but it's a beautiful material and it's quite versatile, which I really, really like. You could also totally wear this as a skirt and just cinch it in and wear like a sweater over it. So yeah, very versatile, very durable. And yeah, it's just a very beautiful um, color. Actually, I'm thinking it would look really nice with this black top underneath. I should try it out once. Um, the next dress, that I want to share with you guys is this shirt. It's like a long shirt dress from a brand called Lucier. It's um, so the girl Lucy who has the company, um, I met her in Berlin and she's from the Czech Republic and she lives in Bali and she produces all of her collection in Bali. It's just beautiful pieces, beautiful garments very well finished, very nicely designed. This particular dress retails for 140 euros. It's all handmade in Bali by a small family uh, factory. This is 92% cotton and 2% elastin uh, for the embroidery that is on here. It does contain a little bit of stretch in it, but it's very pretty. Um, I think it's just a beautiful detail, has these puffy sleeves, I have worn this dress both as a shirt or as a whole dress, so I like the versatility in it. It's a very durable dress, um, it's very breathable, very beautiful for summer, very nice beach dress, but also I think it, it looks very put together um, depending on what you wear it with and like the type of shoes you wear with. I just love like really good looking well designed pieces that are super comfortable and easy to throw on and that's definitely one of them. I have this one in a size S. It is slightly short and slightly see-through if you wear it like let's say to go like out and about in the city I would wear it more as a summer dress or wear it with trousers or a skirt or shorts and also and just wear it as a long um, shirt or tuck it in. So yeah, there's a lot you can do with it. It has beautiful details and also because it's 100% cotton, it's very durable. Oh, and it has pockets here, which is really cool as well. The next dress that I wanna share with you guys is this floral dress. I think it's the only print dress that I'm gonna share with you. I don't wear tons of print. You know, when I find print that I like, I usually keep it and um, I usually wear it. This is a very cute, meaty, strappy dress. This is from a shop called FYT Vintage. So I don't know if you spell it that way, but I will write the name here anyway, so you guys can check it out. So this is secondhand and vintage, which means you're not gonna be able to find the same one, exactly the same one again, but I wanted to share this brand and this shop because I am aware that a lot of these dresses that I'm sharing with you guys today are uh, definitely more expensive than what you might be used to and uh, especially if you're a student or in a budget it can be quite difficult to invest you know 150 euros into a new dress. I think that we have to change the way we consume it to be able to afford sustainable fashion because these prices although they are they seem high in reality that's just the real cost of what clothing should be costing. But I understand that 
not everyone has the means to afford this. In my opinion, secondhand and vintage shopping is an amazing option. That's what I started, you know, shopping sustainably with. And you can find so many great, great things um, in vintage and secondhand shops for a fraction of the price. And it's a very sustainable way to shop. So I really want to encourage it because I think a lot of people, when they come to sustainable fashion, they think they only have to buy from sustainable brands. And although that's an amazing option, secondhand shopping is great too. And it's a lot more affordable. If you say, Chloe, all of what you're mentioning is out of my budget. I cannot afford it. Um, definitely check out your local, your local thrift store, secondhand store, vintage store. Check out Depop. Kleider Kaisel in Germany or Vinted in France. So it's more curated. They have a lot of vintage things. They have denim, tops, um, jackets. They have lots of things, but they have really lovely flower printed dresses. Uh, you have to be very lucky in terms of like finding the right size and finding, you know, the dress that you want because they only have one of each. But in terms of pricing, this is definitely more affordable because I checked on their website and most dresses retail between 18 euros and 28 euros, sometimes 30, 36 euros for like more special dresses, but it is a very affordable way to shop. It's um, a shop um, based in Germany. So this is 100% viscose and I think it's just very pretty. It looks very durable and this is a size M and it works on me. And I, again, like you could definitely wear a top underneath it. Um, but yeah, it's a very simple, cute floral dress so if you're into prints into colors or if you're on a budget i highly recommend you check either your local vintage store or this vintage store that's online if you don't have any vintage stores in your area and that's curated so they go and look for really nice vintage pieces and then they sell it online and then finally the last dress that i want to share with you guys today that's the most recent dress i got i'm not going to be able to show it because it's super long let me try. It's like very long. It's a maxi dress from 07 Days and that's one of my favorite sustainable brand out there. I really love their designs, their collections, everything they do is just so pretty. This dress retails for 160 euros. Um, it's handmade in Turkey and it's 100% cotton and it is dead stock. So it's not organic cotton but it's dead stock fabric, again, like um, the silk dress that I showed you earlier. Um, so yeah, 07 Days, I really love the pieces that they're designing. They have uh, great ideas, great cuts, so it's more like oversized things. This dress is like a wrap dress, so because of the strings, you're able to tie it. This is a size SM, they have two sizes, so I took the smallest one. It's slightly big, but as you can detach it in the middle with the straps, it actually doesn't really look that big on me. It's not see-through at all, which I really, really like. I love the puffy sleeves with the little knots. I think it's just very cute and has a very lovely detail. In terms of durability, this looks like it will last forever. Um, it is also a very nice, like basic white dress. You can wear it with flat shoes. You can wear it with heels. It will look great both ways. You can accessorize it in many ways. So very happy with this. I think it's so pretty. I don't wear it every day. Like I'm not gonna wear it to go to the store, but um, yeah, just for like birthdays and things like that, I'll wear it definitely. That's it for the dresses I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and it gave you some ideas. Definitely check out the brands that I mentioned because they might have other designs of other dresses that they might have that you might like better than the ones I presented. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.